every day you're going to be checking these, and what's going to happen is you're going to start to see um, the head. It's going, to, it's going to start to grow that tail. Um, so we had Mr. Lick come over to our classroom to talk to us about planarian worms and how their stem cells are able to regenerate when something is um, harming their bodies or when their bodies are cut apart. Um, so we got to experiment with some planarian worms. So what's going to happen to this particular one? What is that part? That's his torso and part of his tail. And so what is he going to grow back? The conversation I had with my science teacher, Ms. Scoville, involved why these worms are able to regenerate without any flaws. And the reason they're able to do this is because they have stem cells, which are undifferentiated cells, which means they can turn into any cell in the body. The stem cells, okay, are exactly the same or behave the same way as the planarian neoblasts do. When we saw the planarians, we were really excited because we were going to get to see how they would um, move after we cut them. It was very gratifying to see all the students be able to interact with um, today what they did was they cut a planarian worm in half and they can see how the worm regenerates and the fact that they had a high-powered microscope in the classroom with them and they were able to actually see this worm up close as opposed to what was done in the past which was using their cell phones to get maybe a photo that is maybe ten times what the eye can see the microscope can go up to you know twelve hundred or fifteen hundred times they can look at cells now our hope is that they become excited about science and pursue careers in, in sciences that maybe they didn't think of before.